you know, sometimes I buy sneakers to actually use for dedicated sports. This is the case with this specific pair. This is the Adidas Solar Boost 4M. Now, I saw this on adidas.com and I wanted to check them out. Hey guys, welcome back to a Kicks Reasons channel. Today we are looking at a pair from Adidas that I decided to buy so I can use running outside, going to the gym and stuff like that. They're not really uh, what I'm normally reviewing because you guys know me, I am all about the classics and stuff like that. But here we're looking at a newer model from Adidas, uh, the Solar uh, Boost 4M. And this colorway was the one that grabbed my attention and I wanted to check them out. Now, of course, you'll think, well, you normally you don't spend this kind of money uh, for shoes and you'll be right because these were heavily discounted, I think 50% off. Uh, so they ended up being something like $80 out of 160, which it, let, let's face it, it's quite a lot for these kind of shoes. I had my encounters with Boost here and there over the years. And what attracted me to this specific pair is the inclusion of this plate that kind of extends uh, all the way throughout the bottom and actually protrudes right here on the medial side uh, because I tend to shift my foot uh, inner or throw towards the medial side when I run and this one uh, will protect me and help me uh, for not doing this. Back in the day we had dual density midsoles on a lot of the sneakers and normally on the inside here you will see like a gray uh, painted uh, portion uh, that were more dense and that kind of prevented your foot from shifting. Most companies don't do this anymore so now we have this uh, kind of situation and of course outside we have the outsole from Continental. A great, great thing to see. And if I pull the insole, actually, this is a very interesting insole. Uh, look how perforated it is for ventilation. It looks very nice and anatomically correct. It's very soft, uh, thick as well. So insoles like this, I really love. And I'm hoping a lot of the companies will start doing insoles like that. Now we don't have a tone over here. This is permanently attached half booty. Uh, pretty well ventilated uh, they have interesting colorway which is uh, at first look i thought this is going to be kind of like a camel print but really it's not it's more like a, a here and there a few touches with uh, this kind of a gold uh, paint we have the turquoise or light green for the adidas three stripes on the back we have solar boost and adidas we have it on the tone as well um so the boost over here is kind of a minimalistic. You, most boost shoes you see these days, it's giant, it's puffy. Uh, this is kind of like half of the size. So that's another thing attracted me to it because I've tried shoes with all boost and I feel like they're way too soft. I don't even know how to describe it, but those of you that have boost probably know uh, your foot sinks in and it becomes a little bit more unstable. So I'm not really a huge fan of that sensation. That's why I said many times before, I prefer bounce from Adidas instead of Boost. But because how minimalistic is here and reinforced and we have over it, this portion right here actually is uh, another EVA that sits on top of it. Uh, that helps a little bit more with the stability. And on the front, you will see how wide they are. So when you put your foot in, uh, you don't feel any discomfort with your toes. There's no pinching, there is none of that. The toe box is free flowing. Uh, slight reinforcement right on the front where the toe lip is, which makes these, for me, perfect for running around. I already tried them a few times and I'm pretty pleased with uh, the feeling. Hopefully we'll, we'll remain the same feeling over time when I'm spending, let's say four or five hours in them outside. But so far I think, I think for the money, for $80, yeah, absolutely. I will, I will definitely do it again. For 160, nah, I don't think so. That's way too much money for, for what they're offering. There's no fancy technology here, guys. Come on, Boost has been out there for what now? Almost 10 years now it's gonna become. And it's just a foam. It's not, you know, it's ETPU actually. It's not a foam, but form, form of a foam. And there's no fancy uh, tech inside. There's nothing, there's no air, there's no hexalite. There's no, there's nothing engineered that much. So it shouldn't be that expensive in my mind. Uh, we have a nice exaggerated uh, rubber protector in the back, very, a reminiscent to uh, kind of a, the 90s Adidas models. They pretty much all of them had that. And uh, the laces are nice. So overall, the uh, cupping of the heel is actually uh, very well pronounced. And I'm glad that they did this because uh, when you put them on feet, uh, the pillows all around the heel are kind of hugging 
your heel and keep it in place. Very comfortable. Uh, these are produced in 11 of 2021, so about a year ago. Realistically, this is my first Boost model in a couple years. Uh, and I actually like what they've done here. I like the, the way they're uh, tailored it a little bit more uh, to make it more stable and be, make it more comfortable. Uh, and so uh, I'm definitely going to be wearing these a ton, just participating in different sports instead of just looking at them beautiful in front of me, right? Yeah, short one. That's pretty much it, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.